Hello beautiful humans. So we officially have started day four with our disclaimer. So please feel free to read that at your own time. And the bottom line with it is, is that we are not professional health practitioners. We are humans that care about other humans sharing tools that have worked for us. And today is one of the first days as well that we have opened up the space for others to join us on Zoom. And at certain points, we'll hopefully have some little breakaway discussions. But from Totes and I, welcome to day four. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can stop the screen and read it for yourself. But this is pretty much a tema. And here we are fully with you today. Yay, hello, everybody. Wow, wow, wow. So. Well, yesterday was really good. I really enjoyed having a self-care day. And um, I noticed that I woke up today very much in the theme of today. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get into that just now. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm quite curious to hear later onwards how you guys enjoyed your self-care day. Um, like we really unplugged ourselves and I spent most of the time under a tree on a blanket outside <laughs> so i happily did a little bit of clutter clearing and um also enjoyed some time under the tree with totes and reading a book and just chilling so let's dive into today and um should we start with with something fun start with fun let's start with fun so whenever you're watching this video whether you're watching this right now live with us or whether you're watching the recording this exercise is going to work no matter what. And in fact, this is a powerful, um, amazing tool for you to be able to use again and again and again and again in your life. So basically, this is the simplicity of it. Your brain does not know the difference between authentic laughter and fake laughter. So whether you're laughing for real or just pretending, as long as you do these little tricks, the brain will think that you're really laughing and it will release endorphins and you'll feel really, really good. So here's what you do is you take your hand and you place it onto your belly. The reason why you want it on your belly is because you want your belly to shake when you're doing this. So now you're going to get your belly to shake as if you're a panting dog. So you go, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and now you're going to put the sounds of laughter and you're going to put a smile at the same time. So the sounds of laughter, those of you who need to be reminded are ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and if you don't have any reason to laugh just watch Toto because he does the poker face version of this <laughs> so that's the basic of the exercise and now you add a little bit of imagination to it so this is one of the famous laughter exercises is you're taking water from one glass to the other and you're shaking it about. So you're going to go ha, 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 pouring it from one glass to the next, and then you're going to drink it and it's going to be a cacophonous laugh when you do it. Okay. So here you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then down it. <laughs> so when you first start doing it, you think you're a complete nana. And by the end of it, you're like Toto and you're actually laughing. So as silly as it is, it works. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll actually post a link of a friend who's doing laughter clubs online during lockdown. So feel free to join her. And let's dive in, Toto. Yeah, let's pull up our today's um, theme, Centering Thought. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. This is it. Today, I identify all that I need to restore. So remember I said to you, I woke up this morning already feeling that theme. And um, yeah, I feel like as we drop into our visualization, that will become more clear. But it's, it's being willing to softly and very clearly do the work. So identifying all the areas that need to have a little bit more TLC. Let's dive into our visualization and have a little pause moment together. So allowing yourself to get nicely comfortable, seated wherever you are or lying down so that you can be super chilled. Mm. Very special thank you to Jenny Braun for this lovely music. She's given us our own exclusive lockup track. <laughs> Just 
just allowing the music to support you to breathe deeper this morning. When we consciously breathe, making the exhale a little longer, we restore ease. Just go to that place inside, that inner stillness, the place where we connect to our higher self. Where we experience deeper connection and let go of any thought. Observe your breath breathe in and out. And now gently look deeper. Try to see areas in your life that need restoring. With a gentleness and an ease, feel those spaces. Relationships that come to mind that have an extra conversation still due. Commitments that we've made. Commitments that we long to make. Allow these thoughts to come up so that they can be spotlight See them clearly and let them go so that another can show up clearly. Any other thought that comes up, just see it dissolve like a cloud. All the while, breathing. Deeply. As you gently allow yourself to fully come back into your present moment, just wriggling your body a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bring yourself more present. Perhaps you want to yawn and stretch a little bit. <sighs> and then slowly, gently open your eyes and bring yourself. We're beautiful humans. I woke up this morning very clear that there were certain things in my life that I was, let's say, out of integrity with. Like I could feel, okay, there were certain commitments that I made for myself that I was making excuses about. 
there's certain relationships that are in my life that I've been waiting for a better day to have a conversation with them. And I just realized that actually today I'm making a list and I'm writing down all of these things for myself, what I need to, to restore integrity with and for my other relationships who I need to speak to, who I need to perhaps have another clearing conversation with. And then thirdly, my worldly contributions. I'm one of those people that used to be overcommitted, just as many friends say, spread too thin. So just taking responsibility in that win-win-wins way. I'm not winning when I have promises to myself that I'm not keeping. Others are not winning when I haven't cleared the space. And the world is not winning when I make commitments that I can't fulfill. And so today I'm going to list them all. And I'm even going to take some actions of what I can do to restore some of that integrity. So. Yeah, and with that, we are going to bring you another tool because <laughs> this first week is really about sharing all the tools for all the different areas that we have available and then making them part of our daily life. Right now, it may feel like, wow, it's a lot of different tools and eventually they will be just become part of your being and you'll just fall back to them when you need them. So just stay with us with the pace right now. Um, we're really wishing to give you all the tools for you to are uh, being able for being able to deal with all these situations. And right now, our daily theme around restore, um, the tool that we're going to share with you is actually coming from Hawaii. Yeah, the indigenous peoples of Hawaii have uh, use this practice and for those of you who know us you'll know that we facilitate this particular tool a lot because it really really works <laughs> and uh, you know we often talk about this human condition in our human relating our stuff gets reflected and and sometimes he irritates the poo out of me you know and <laughs> what I'm able to do is is practice this tool and it's called Ho'oponopono. Don't worry about pronouncing that. We'll send you the infographic later. Um, but essentially, there's four key principles. And it's the process of being willing to ask for forgiveness, uh, to actually speak it. I am sorry. Please forgive me. So there's two of the practices already. And then? Thank you. And I love you. So... And so this is, this is the, the, the basis for these four um, anchors and it's for you to elaborate them. So if I just pull up an example, I'd be like, Nikki, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for judging you thinking that you were in your funk this morning. Please forgive me for hurting you in any way around that, for triggering any wrong emotions and, and yeah for judging you and thank you for always taking care of me for always stepping back in and for doing the best you can at any time really and i dearly love you mm. and then when that happens it just feels so smushy and <laughs> yes <laughs> and 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 i see like the moment tote says that that there there's certain relationships in my life you know definitely the more years you have under your belt, the more relationships you have under your belt. And, and I just see that this lockdown, this lock up, let's not go down, let's go up. Let's, let's really, let's use this opportunity to restore our relationships. That doesn't mean that you're going to have that relationship again. Like if there's something that was broken, it just might mean that I can have that call or I can send that very detailed voice note or I can just sit in my deep practice, imagine them in front of me and really just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I was such a banana with how I dealt with that relationship. Please forgive me for not knowing enough at that time. Thank you for teaching me that tool. You've taught me. Like I've learned through all of those relationships, but I've not told those people that I've learned. And the moment I'm able to say thank you for that, I feel like they're, they're also unleashed with it. And then, of course, the love is infinite. So as hard as it feels sometimes to say I love you to someone, the moment you do, it's just... Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. And, and the pinnacle of this tool, you can also use it for yourself. So if there's anything where you feel like you haven't forgiven yourself for, something that is still sitting with you, something that you've done that you feel regret about, this tool will also work for that and will create complete release and magic. If you just go inwards or you take a piece of paper and you just write down, I'm sorry, and you write to yourself, you know, I'm sorry, Toto, for this and this. Please forgive me. Thank you and I love you. That, that simple process will dissolve whatever block and weight of the past is still sitting there. I find it very interesting that it's, it's this human learning, like I've, I've noticed a couple of posts in the world right now of people saying, oh my word, I can't actually manage being in this environment with this other person or whatever it is. Actually, this little lockup process is the most perfect thing for us to deal with the reflections that we're seeing. And if it's irritating you, you can guarantee it's something trying to teach you. That reflection, if, it, if it's pushing a button, you've got a button to push that means something needs to be healed. So this is such a perfect opportunity. Guys, please, I invite you all, make that list. Make that list today. Put it all down because once it's there, you can just keep taking another action and another action. And before you realize at the end of this 21 days, you're going to feel like everything is restored because you've done the work. Mm. Yeah. Should we get some shares? Yes. I'm yes. curious if anyone um, that is in the Zoom room right now likes to participate, maybe just write something in the chat and then we'll unmute you. Um, I, oh, can I give an analogy just of something? So, so this morning, um, it, Totes and I were both outside before our meditation and I was taking out some of these weeds and it, it really helped me to understand that actually this is what this work does. By me listing, I can see all the areas where there's weeds growing. And then I can take an action and I can take that weed out and I can take that weed out. And like my dad said to me just yesterday, he was like, weeds are not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you can see them, but the biggest thing about them is, is that they're taking nutrients away from the things that are actually supposed to be growing and thriving. And so if it's something that's still niggly, it's a weed. And if I take it out of my life by doing the action that I need to, then the nutrients can be focused on where they need to be, which is all these other areas and commitments that I've made in my life that I want to work and thrive. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I'm not sure if we've got anybody online who wants to check in. Let me also just check that's on also Facebook. Okay. Um, yeah, you can have a look there. Another little analogy that came up this morning, I was reading um, um, a book, it's called The Breakthrough Experience. And um, one story there was that it really resonated with me. And it was around, so this doctor um, driving his Jaguar, coming home from um, coming home from work, you know, having served so many people, having healed so many people today, feeling like very full of himself, right? Like such an achiever coming home into his house and his wife would just crush him, like crush him down literally like, you know, and it would, it creates this like energetic fight now of like, what's going on here? Like, I'm so successful. I'm bringing the, the money home. I'm serving so many people and at home I'm getting treated like crap basically. From the wife's perspective, it's like, you know, like I'm holding the house here. I'm taking care of the children every day. And I just ask you to be equal here, right? So what happens in relationships, in intimate relationships, is that there is a natural balance that tries to be restored. When I come home too full of myself, I'll be sure there's my partner to take that fullness out of me and actually bring me back into humility. And the other way around, when I come home very low and empty, the partner is there to uplift you. It's that balance that is created. So for us to honor that balance, actually, like the, in this story, what the doctor did then is like on his way of driving home, even though he said such an ex, like extraordinary day and helped so many people, he now just tuned in and remembered which people didn't, couldn't I help today? Which appointments did I miss today? Which, which things did I, like all the things that I actually, you know, I, I couldn't do today. Um, which helped him to get back into his humility. 
And then when he arrived home, he was in a, in a centered space. He wasn't full of himself. He just like, I'm home. And there was an immediate um, imbalance and no argument anymore at home. Yeah, it's interesting because when Totes was giving me that this morning, I was like, wow, that's huge. Because even the words full of myself, it's like I'm full of myself. So where's the space for the creator in that? Or where's the space for others in that? One of the things we use in, in Thrive, in the whole context of being a thriver, is that simple win-win-wins checklist. Everything in your life, what you're doing, who you're being, the choices you're making, whether or not you're restoring integrity, ask yourself, am I winning? And be deeply honest. Am I winning with this? Maybe I'm not winning because I'm being full of myself. You know, it's like, I think I'm winning, but I'm just fooling myself. Are others winning? No, they're not. Because there's no space for them if I'm full of myself. And is the world winning? No, not really. Maybe the few people, lives that I touched, they're, they're winning. But the rest of the world didn't even really get to experience me. On my drive home, I was so full of myself. All I was doing was focusing on me, 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 me. And one of my, my favorites is... Just if I, we spend so much time going, I justify, justify, justify. And if we justify, it's just if I, there's not a lot of space for anybody else in that. Hmm. So anyway. <laughs> this is day four, guys. <laughs> it's day four. So we really encourage you to make that list, take some time today, spend time with that centering thought. What are these areas in your life that you need to identify that actually need restoring unclosed chapters, unfinished conversations or partnerships or whatever it may be, sit with that for today, pull that up. And if you can already take actions, take action today and use Ho'oponopono. We're going to share the infographic again in the WhatsApp group and in the Facebook group. And please feel free in the comments of this video to share whatever came up for you um, yeah, with this topic today. Yay. And thank you everybody for playing all out. And we really are inviting the community to, to keep sharing and supporting each other. Let's take it to the next level and let's support each other to restore our relationships in all the ways. So giant amounts of love. Have a lovely, beautiful day full of restoring everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lots of love. Lots of love. Ciao. <laughs>